Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to ignite and bring life to regular photos, add some movement, and make it look really awesome using Final Cut Pro 10. No plugins. Let's get it. So let's admit it, sometimes, you know, we might have photos laying around and we want to spice them up. And an easy way to do that is by using this awesome effect in Final Cut Pro 10. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to ignite your photos. We're going to add some oomph, some flavor, and add some movement to them. It kind of reminds me of those loading screens that you've probably seen on Grand Theft Auto 4. Netflix screens, I should say, like when they're showing the previews, it kind of does this animation. So first things first, you're gonna wanna create a video on Final Cut Pro 10, a project. And in this case, I'm gonna make the duration seven seconds. So once we have our photos here, we're gonna make a copy. So I'm gonna hold down the Option key and lift the mouse up and it will copy it. So I'm gonna hit V on the top clip so it's not visible and we're gonna focus on the bottom. What we're gonna do first, we're gonna make sure this playhead's all the way at the beginning and we're gonna come over to the side and we're gonna come to scale and we're gonna move this thing about 90. We're gonna keep it 90s, all right? And we're gonna add a keyframe. So under scale all, we're gonna hit this plus, it should turn yellow and we're gonna drive the playhead all the way down and we're gonna boost this to 100%. And when you do playback, you'll get this motion. That looks pretty cool already. You see the vibes, you know what I'm going for. Once we have that, we're gonna click the top portion, hit V so it's selected. And then on this clip, this is where the fun's gonna happen. So first we're gonna actually apply a draw mask on top of it, and we're gonna get these control points. And I encourage you guys to really Take your time and map everything out. You might have to come up here and boost the percent up a little bit to make sure you're getting everything. For the tutorial's sake, I'm gonna fast forward this part, but you wanna make sure you get it as on point as possible. On point like Steve Nash. And once we have all the points selected on this mask, I'm going to come over to feather and move to the left a little bit and bring some of that feather in. I'm not going to get too brazy. I'm going to just go maybe like 4.5 to give it that extra oomph. We can go to the opacity and you can see what's going on, okay? We're going to go to scale all and you can make it as big as you want. You know, I'm a, the bigger you go, the more of this effect you'll see from it. So if I go 200, that would be overkill, but... I'm going to keep it light for the flight. I'm going to do like 128, 127. You can adjust the Y axis if you want. In this case, I'm not. I'm actually going to keep the Y axis there. And essentially, we're going to make sure the playhead's up front. And we're going to come over here to the scale all. And we're going to move the playhead all the way down. And we're going to get it back down to 100%. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Wow. And that's how you ignite your still boring photos, bring them to life. You can add music to it. You can add this. You can even make this an Instagram reel if you wanted. It's something fun you can do to enhance your photos. I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button for me right now. And if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, as well as filming tips and tricks and unboxings and gear reviews, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.